Good day. My name is Li Guyon. I'm the uh, surgeon in the Toroint uh, Surgery Unit of the Seoul National University. Today I will talk about the uh, robotic uh, 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 surgeries based on Baba technique. Today, not only good treatment, also good patient care is important. Uh, this is an uh, uh, image from the Seoul National University Hospital from the doctor specialized on uh, liver treatment. Previously, when doing uh, liver surgery, big incisions were utilized. Currently, uh, lap laparoscopy is used, and if possible, small incisions uh, are in use. Uh, the same way, with uh, after the thyroid surgery, uh, there could be uh, small scars on the neck, as you see here, but but scars could be even larger or uh, pathological uh, thickening. That's why, if uh, uh, if thyroid gland surgery is required for both men and women. Uh, they are more uh, concerned with the post-op surgery rather than with surgery per se. Today, I would like to introduce surgery known as oncoplastic thyroid surgery, we, uh, and the technique we used in Seoul National University Hospital. This intervention makes possible uh, to uh, to do to do intervention uh, without scars. There are several types of oncoplastic uh, thyroid uh, interventions. In particular, in Seoul National University Hospital, uh, we use uh, a chest approach. This method is called BABA bilateral axillary breast approach. One to boast. Uh, 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 when the both axillary and both areolar region is involved. In this case, we use uh, four uh, ports and low pressure CO2. Uh, advantage is that we go through the uh, uh, through the midline, which is quite comfortable for the surgeon. Uh, for the first in the world, uh, Baba surgery was done in 2004 in the uh, Seoul National University Hospital. In 2007, uh, uh, there was an article about that in the, uh, um, in the big, uh, so to say, um, uh, International Surgical Journal. Uh, also, uh, in 2000, uh, later on, we obtained Da Vinci system. Uh, we used the baby method there. Uh, this uh, slide uh, is provided by Dr. Ko Yinu. Uh, the advantage of DaVinci system is possibility to enlarge the image. Uh, second thing, unlike laparoscopic endoscopy, robotic surgery, uh, so to say, uh, elevates tremor uh, or rules out tremor and provides very, very clear image, very, very clear uh, picture. So we stable surgical view. Uh, also, uh, using uh, Da Vinci robot, we can clearly see anatomy with uh, two eyes rather than with just one. So, with such experience uh, from Seoul National University Hospital in 2013, I published a, a, a book uh, produced by Sp Springer, which includes all open endoscopic and robotic procedures in thyroid gland. And recently with uh, Intuitive, uh, along with a company named Intuitive, we create a very detailed manual. Briefly uh, about that uh, manual. Similar to the uh, conventional surgery, steroid surgery, patient is in supine position uh, with uh, a bit extended uh, uh, neck. After that, we dock the robot system uh, with the patients with the various uh, uh, instruments, especially trockers and uh, harmonic uh, scalpels. We place camera between trockers. At this photo, you see the process of the surgery. Now, to start the surgery, 
we need to start uh, with the mid lane. It is similar to the conventional open surgery. Isthmus is divided, and then we see it's a, a right view, and here is a left view. And as you can see, a recurrent laryngeal nerve and parathyroid uh, are, could be uh, seen as having no uh, alterations. Using interoperative nerve monitoring uh, to this hook is an advantage since it helps us to minimize nerve injury. Closer to the end of the surgery, superior thyroid artery is ligated. Uh, and also in uh, several National University Hospital, in case of thyroid cancer, we use the technique of ipsilateral central compartment dissection. This method could be uh, applied here as well. I will explain it when uh, during this video. As we noticed, uh, surgery starts, started similar to the conventional open surgery where we do the midline incision. Both forceps are used and harmonic scalpel or hooks. First, we uh, check trachea. Then, with a, a clear uh, isthmus resection, we start the surgery. I will show the surgery at the right side of uh, the thyroid gland. So, with the help of harmonic scalpel, you can remove thyroid, uh, avoiding um, uh, bleeding. We can use CO2 to expand uh, the space, and with a switch in motion function, or you can medially retract thyroid gland to obtain a better view. As you can see, we can clearly see uh, recurrent laryngeal nerve. As I mentioned, it's a 2D image, uh, while well, 3D image will make possible uh, to get more details of anatomy and to do uh, and to do surgery at the same time. We can see that upper parathyroid gland is spared. Also, we can check that the nerve is intact. After that, we can uh, safely dissect a better ligament. Uh, in this uh, image, you can see dissection of uh, upper thyroid gland through the uh, double chucking technique. If necessary, to, uh, we can use uh, uh, um, uh, so uh, we, can, we can use uh, so to say uh, the uh, uh, ghost sponge, and uh, then we treat on the upper pole. Let's come to the video. It's a Cristina Fernandez, a former president of Argentina. After the uh, thyroid gland surgery, she noticed that uh, the post-op uh, scar looks not uh, static enough. So the robotic interventions on thyroid gland makes possible to avoid such issues. Also, along with uh, our uh, mm, psychiatry uh, unit, we analyzed and compared cases of uh, robotic and uh, standard uh, open surgeries. We wondered from the point of view of functional, functional discomfort, those methods were not different. But from the point of view of uh, psychological distress level, patients were much more satisfied with robotic interventions versus open ones. Moreover, many patients after surgery develop post-op complications, and you will be interested to find out uh, to see the differences between two methods. The most frequent post-op complication is uh, uh, tr uh, tr transient hypocalcemia, uh, uh, relapsing, or permanent paralysis. Such complications develop uh, with the same rate uh, after robotic or open uh, intervention. Also, there could be a question on the following. In case of uh, robotic surgery, we remove uh, cancer cells not completely versus uh, uh, standard open surgery. In order to check this uh, point of view, I studied thyroglobulin uh, levels. In this case, the thyroglobulin levels are important, in particular so-called stimuli thyroid uh, thyroglobulin. We checked a percentage of patients 
where shadow, shadow global level uh, was below one. And with that regard, there are several uh, publications. According to foreign statistics, number of patients with tyro globulin below one uh, is less than 50 percent. We checked uh, the uh, we checked the scoring uh, to remove uh, selection bias, since they are not uh, patients uh, of uh, they are not participants of the randomized clinical trial. I compared uh, eight various factors, started from the age and sex. And as a result, we compared 108 patients after a robotic intervention. Uh, 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 and also there were patients, uh, they were compared to patients with uh, open surgery. A stabilized terioglobulin level below 1 was 65 and 68 percent in each arm, which proves that cancer cells uh, were removed much better than it is uh, discussed in uh, foreign publications. Such uh, uh, reports also uh, were uh, uh, several agencies informed about similar similar results. Uh, look at here. If you look at the Charlie Global and below one, we see the 60 to 70 percent of uh, 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 authors uh, say that it's this number below uh, 60 or 70 percent. The level of uh, stimulated Charlie Global and below one indicates effectiveness of up to 60, 70 percent, uh, or even uh, above 80 percent as uh, effectiveness of treatment. According to the uh, article published recently by Seoul National University Hospital, as a result of comparison of two surgical methods, robotic and open one, uh, they proved effectiveness of removal cancer cells of up to 90 percent using robotic interventions. Previously, surgeries were done only uh, in case of small uh, uh, cancer uh, masses. But the uh, Seoul National University Hospital uh, in 2016 published comparison of uh, 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 article uh, was comparison of tumors above uh, four centimeters, uh, and they also mentioned that Baba technique used uh, to treat uh, used to treat uh, thyroid cancer is quite effective. So currently we can do uh, thyroid surgery even in case of enlarged uh, thyroid gland in case uh, because of great disease, disease which is called modified radical neck dissection. If it is uh, some tra uh, uh, transection load you can uh, uh, you can do surgery without any incision. In 2016, uh, uh, Seoul National University Hospital informed on a complete uh, removal of 50% uh, uh, of patients with uh, mRND, considering the level of stimulated thyroid globulin below one. Quite uh, recently, uh, Seoul National University Hospital published a review, published a review article. At the initial uh, stages of the trial, majority of cases were uh, uh, included uh, young patients and small tumors, especially uh, with, uh, mm, uh, especially to, uh, uh, it was contraindicated in case of uh, Graves' disease. But uh, currently, we uh, extended indications to the surgeries in case of MRND or Graves' disease, and also uh, old patients could be, um, so to say, treated. Uh, at the end, I would like briefly to tell you about uh, scientific society ISOPES. This society was created in 2015 by the group of physicians who uh, actually did surgery on thyroid gland and endocrine, and endocrine organs, especially using robotic interventions uh, or endoscopic interventions. Since 11, uh, in the 11 12th of June uh, 2021, we plan to organize an online symposium of SPS involving very well-known speakers from all over the world. I would like to uh, invite all those, uh, interested, uh, those who are interested in those issues to participate in our Congress. So uh, what I can say at the end? 
uh, robotic surgeries on uh, uh, thyroid gland uh, with it using the BABA technique could improve quality of life in patients treated for thyroid cancer since it, uh, they produce no neck scars. Uh, besides, moreover, results of the surgeries uh, and uh, follow-up via and various meta-analysis have proven that this surgery is safe. Also, long-term results showed that uh, robotic thyroid surgery produced robust uh, oncologic outcome is available for wider use uh, for such uh, for such uh, disorders as uh, MRND and uh, Graves' disease. International cooperation is important uh, with such organization like ISOPES. And thanks a lot for your invitation. Thank you for your invitation and interest to robotic thyroid uh, baba surgeries uh, practiced in the Seoul uh, National University Hospital. Thank you.